Look at that little guy. Wow, there it is. That is a little juvenile caiman right there. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up onto the boat. Let me get some of this mud off of him. There you go, buddy. Wow, absolutely beautiful. Look at the coloration. Judging by the size of this caiman, I would guess it's probably around a year of age. The reason I wanted to get hands-on with one of these reptiles is so that we can look at some of its distinct features. At first glance, you may say to yourself, is that an American alligator? The caiman, while closely related to the alligator, is quite different. Caiman are certainly the lesser known crocodilian species. With the Yakadae caiman, the thing that is most distinct, if I turn it like this, you can see that those eyes are set incredibly high up on the skull. It almost looks as if this caiman is wearing glasses. With that shorter, blunter snout, it does resemble an alligator, while crocodiles have longer, thinner snouts. But with the caiman, you have this very distinct, jagged design to the teeth. When they're smaller like this, it's not as noticeable. But as they age and grow into adult stage, the front two teeth on the lower mandible end up poking up through the upper snout. Now, if you look at those forelimbs, the front feet are not webbed. They're primarily used for gripping onto the basin of a water structure, but it's actually the hind limbs that really help them move through the environment. But all of the propulsion of this animal comes from the musculature that's in the tail. This is an animal that is designed to thrive in this Pantanal ecosystem. All right, little guy, thanks for hanging out with us for a few minutes. Let's place it back down into the water. I think it's time to swim with the caiman. So right now we're motoring very slowly back into this cove. This looks like it could be the best spot to encounter the largest quantity of caiman. Wow, this water is crystal clear. This is perfect. Big fish in here. The caiman are definitely eating well with all these fish swimming around. Okay, so we've got about eight caimans stacked up right on this embankment. We're gonna get into the water here. Whew. Heart is racing right now. This is it, here we go. away from two very big caiman. Now you'll notice the one further up on the embankment has its mouth open. This time of day, they're thermoregulating their body temperature. With the mouth open, it actually helps the caiman to cool its body temperature. So it's able to control just how warm it's getting. Now all the scutes across the top of the back work like little solar panels. And they are just loving the sunlight right now. They feel complete calm with us in the environment like this. They haven't even flinched. They know that we're here, but they feel completely calm. Right now, we're trying to be as quiet as we possibly can. I don't want to startle them off the edge. I just want to get close. Let's move in a little bit closer. My heart is racing right now. Here he goes, down in the water, look at this. Look at the way that the eyes, the nostrils, and the ears stay just above the surface. Perfectly camouflaged. Okay, what I'm gonna do is gently coax the caiman down into the water. Let's get it out in the open so we can see just how large the body is beneath the surface. I follow the reptile as it slinks through the muck, 
and down into the water. With a graceful ease, it glides out into the open, allowing me to get dangerously close to its open jaws. My movements are slow and calculated. The last thing I want to do is mimic a struggling prey item, yet the subtle disturbance I've made in the environment draws the attention from several other caiman. This is not looking good. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Nothing puts you on edge like being in the water alongside predators, armed with razor sharp teeth and an appetite for eating almost anything that comes across their jaws. Yet here I am, completely surrounded. I must do everything I can to keep my cool, move slow, and no matter what, don't panic. I hold my ground, bracing for an attack, but instead, nothing. These animals clearly do not see me as prey, and if they thought I was a predator, they would be long gone. So that means they must be accepting me as one of their own. This is truly a close encounter of the reptilian kind, and as I gently interact with these beautiful animals, I am able to prove that not all crocodilians are bloodthirsty predators. Wow, what? an incredible experience. To be honest, at first, I was a bit skeptical that having an up-close encounter with a wild caiman ah, would be possible. And then, when you least expect it, is one grabs onto the side of your leg. But this is what it took, getting submersed into the environment to get up close with these animals. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Look out, here it comes again. In the end, I did take a bite. But it was not out of hunger or aggression. This caiman was simply curious and was testing out the stranger who entered into its realm. No blood was shed, but it was a welcome reminder that getting close to wild animals always comes with an incredible amount of risk.